Welcome back to The Division 2. In this video, I want to teach you how to level up your season fast. It shouldn't take long at all to get all the way to 100. I mean, if you're playing a decent amount per day, then it's, it's going to take you, I don't know, a couple of weeks, maybe a month. But you should be able to get this done within the three months that you have. And to put it into context how fast you can do it, depending how much you play, Lewis is already tier 100 in the matter of a couple of days but he does spend a long time on the game. So there are a few different ways you can do it. It depends on what you feel like doing. It depends on how efficient you are. There's a few different factors. But one thing is do not play the summit if you are looking to level up your season because it is dreadful for leveling. Absolutely dreadful. For an example, we have made it from floor 1 to 100 with several wipes, a disconnection that knocked us down nine floors, and we're only like level 40 something. A few of those levels actually come from me getting the footage for this video. So the first way I'm going to talk to you about is control points. If you put your global difficulty to heroic, and you put on four of the directives at least. I would say five, but the skill one is absolutely ridiculous. Scavenged skills is the worst directive to ever come into this game. The armor break one is not fun at all, but the scavenged skills is even worse because if you are playing in a group, you have to actually get the kill yourself to get a like a green ticket or that's what we call it, but it's a skill part. In order to get a skill part to drop, you need to get that by yourself. You need to get that kill for yourself. It doesn't drop for everyone in the group. And for an example of how many skill parts it requires, I dropped my revive hive down and deconstructed it or destroyed it or whatever. And it was going to take 33 skill parts in order to get that back off cooldown. I played off the rest of the mission and this was on American History Museum. I was at the Vietnam part when I put down my hive. I got to the end of the mission and I still needed 16 parts. I never ever got my revive hive back through that mission. So it's absolutely ridiculous if you're wanting to use any of your skills. But control points with four directives I would do all of them besides that skill one heroic difficulty and just go through find a couple of control points you like and just farm them you can go back into your map you can go to the difficulty settings and you can reset the control points from there then number two is to run some missions especially american history museum at the moment because it's currently invaded which gives you more xp and the mission doesn't take long. On Invaded, which is the gameplay you're seeing in the background, Invaded Heroic, four directives, mission completion gives you 880,000 XP. You're also getting XP for killing enemies and stuff, so I would say one run on that, which is going to take in between 10 to 15 minutes, is going to award you probably just over a million XP each run, and that's well over a level, with 700,000 XP per level. But the other way, which is by far the fastest, and I know that because Lewis does it all the time, and he is already tier 100 in the season, is to do resource convoys. These are open world activities. He was doing them on challenging with four directives, which grants about 400,000 XP, and they only take a couple of minutes to do. You can obviously bump it up to heroic, you're going to get more XP, but it's going to be a little bit tougher, so it might take a little bit longer. So challenging is a good sort of balance. You're getting 400k XP each time, and you can reset your control points, which is going to spawn more resource convoys. You just need to look around your map and find them. And on that note, we're going to leave the video there. If you do have any faster ways, then let everyone know in the comments and help out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.